Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. Mystery beers. Courtesy of the boys from NerdSense. Post Beer Tube Palooza Mystery Beers. As is the norm for uh, Beer Tube Palooza, we all bring a bunch of beer and a bunch of us leave with beer um, at the end. Okay. Um, at the end of the, uh, the end is pretty much just everybody. Okay. How about that? We're going to have to wait for this thing to settle down. Uh, I'm glad I poured it now that we give ourselves a little bit of time. But, um, you know, at the end of it, pretty much everybody's like, I brought beers, take beers, take my beers, please. And a bunch of stuff was up for grabs. And I grabbed a couple mystery beers, two to be exact. Um, one from um, Tanner from East Coast at LQ Reviews and one from the boys from Nerd Sense. Um, as you can see, sweet brown bag stylings, uh, a little bit of masking tape, and the biggest head... In the history of mankind, I have treated this beer non illy. Uh, it's been over a week since Beer Two Blues. It's been sitting on its own. I didn't shake the shit out of it, so I wonder what's going on here. Uh, it looks like a, a, a stout, a porter, smoke beer. Could be anything. I'm guessing. I don't know. Something foamy. Uh, four fingers. Four fingers of foam in this. Um, let's see what we have here. Pretty dark beer i mean it's 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 definitely looks like it's something that is richer darker denser something in that kind of upper um single digits it doesn't look like something that's super high abv don't think a head would generate it on some, something like that unless it was really really kind of infected and sideways my guess might be dealing with some kind of either um, spiced adjunct uh, stout or some kind of porter here maybe even an export stout something along those lines but at this point it could be literally everything that it had has that nice kind of slightly south of malt ball kind of color to it so yeah let's even get a nose through all this coffee so all the coffee are belong to us this is by far and away coffee beer um giving me gunner's daughter's vibes um like crazy just not super high ABV. Again, it's really hard to pull a proper nose when something has that big of a head on it. But it is coffee on coffee on coffee. A nice soft chocolate to it. A roasted maltiness. Quite nice. And honestly, it smells like a beautifully well done kind of um, coffee beer. It actually might be even a coffee peanut butter beer. Based off of what I'm getting now. Now I got this little kind of hole kind of driving down in there. I might be leaning more like peanut butter coffee beer or even just peanut butter stout. Um, just because at that initial hit was those roasted malts with the big um, coffee component, but now it's just this kind of peanut butter coming through. Yeah, very much, again, peanut butter, gutters, daughters kind of vibes on this. So I'm going to try to dive through this head. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit more liquid in there without going crazy. Dive through this head, give it a sippy, and see what we got. Cheers, y'all. Okay, there's something going on here with the hmm. yeah. There's something going on here with the with the makeup of the beer. I don't want to call it infected. But there's something about it to where it's like way less impactful on the taste. super tinny I'm not getting a big huge peanut butter nor coffee component actually in a taste it's like punching you in the face and aromatics this is really interesting yeah I think this somebody's like six and change imperial I, I kind of feel like this is an old an age version of Gunner's Daughter peanut butter. I can't really see any date in the bottom. I think that might be on purpose. Um, yeah, because it, it has this thinness to it. So my guess is that this is peanut butter Gunner's Daughter. Maybe with like two years on it. Um, and just that peanut butter portion of the show, the, the adjunct addition or the negative oxygen, whatever you want to call it, has taken this beer and just oxidized the crap out of it and it's just reduced it into something that it's just not it's not what it is anymore I kind of almost want to go back just to straight coffee porter 
because I'm not getting much coffee, I'm not getting much peanut butter, but I feel like that nose, those aromatics, it's got to be peanut butter. So I'm going to leave that in there. Yeah. So I think that whatever going to the daughter is, uh, peanut butter goes at 5.4%. Mass Landing, Peanut Butter Gunner's Daughter, 2022. Get those a pull. It's not that beer, I can tell you that straight off the get. Um, Alpine Butcher. Okay. I have an Alpine Butcher by me, but this is not their beer. This is a chocolate peanut butter stout. There's no date on here. In collaboration with Alpine Butcher, chocolate peanut butter stout. This is a... Uh, Merrimack Ales, 7%, so way lower ABV than I thought. I was kind of the cart leading the horse there for me because I thought it was I thought it was going to be super cool and actually call out the actual beer, but I am wrong. Okay, Lowell Mass, so this is a local jam close to um, close to uh, Sean from NerdSense. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. I, I kind of... It, yeah, it's just the nose actually had me all kinds of hot and bothered, and I thought it was going to be absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> but the mouth feels super thin. It has really metallic tinniness to it. And that peanut butter, no coffee, with that roasted malt peanut butter kind of combination here, just kind of comes off flat. I mean, aromatically, like I said, on the nose, it was absolutely fantastic. It gives me, even through that gigantic bonkers nose it had, um, it had something of impact to it, something of oomph, something of very, very big funness. It's a weird word combination. But going into the taste, I mean, you can see how it poured. It, it just kind of just out of there. And it comes off super, super neutral. Has that little bit of tinny kind of metallic taste that I can get on some darker beers in this ABV level. And really just the impact of the beer itself did come off as a lower ABV beer, not 7%. This is a very weird beer. This is, um, there's so many dogs barking outside. It's so weird. Um, and we don't have that around here. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, oh, I have my window open too, which I usually don't have. Fall, beautiful weather. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really, really curious to see what y'all who have had this, specifically Sean, I'm, I'm assuming, if you guys have had this, let me know your experience of this beer. Did it foam like mine? Did it kind of go crazy like that? I'm really, really curious, but it's a weird beer to kind of talk about, especially as a mystery beer, because I don't really feel like I'm too ultra far off, because I think the beer is definitely not what it should be. Like, if you had this at the brewery, it might come off completely different. And for me, Peanut butter was present on the nose. Air, um, uh, uh, aromatically, it definitely showed like a coffee, chocolate, peanut butter thing. And it came off as like a lower ABD porter, 7% stout. Sure, fine, no coffee involved. That's my bad. But you can also get that for a lot of roasted malt kind of um, uh, beer-based, um, darker beers. Um, with that heavily dose of roasted malts and stuff like that. Very, very dark beer. But... Man, I'm really curious to see what your experience is like with this. If it's anything like mine, where it kind of jumped out of the can and aromatically is fantastic, but at the same time when you drink it, it comes off very, very weird. Yeah. It's one of the better... Let's cut to the chase, because that's all I have to say about it. Because am I wrong? Sure. Am I right? Sure. Am I more wrong than right? Sure. But I think if you taste it, I think you might agree with me. Maybe. Anyway. Um, is it one of the better stout, adjunct stouts I've had as late? No. Uh, value to availability, no idea, and leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like super impactful noses with not much as far as body and mouthfeel and impact and taste, you'll like this. Uh, yeah, Merrimack Ales, have you had their beers? What's your favorite beer? Have you had this beer? I need to know if you have had this beer and how it impacted you and how it drank for you, all that fun stuff down there. Hopefully you enjoyed the review, hopefully enjoying a little bit of mystery beers right now, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.